Okay, hello, my name is Ardi and I'm going to solve practice problem 4.6 from Hate's book, determine I1 and I2 in the circuit in the figure 4.19. And this is the figure, so I will have two loops here, I1 and I2. So the simplest thing that we need to do is just do KVL at both loops. So now let's do KVL at I1, right? We have one, two, three, four, four components at I1. And what does KVL say? KVL said that the sum of the voltage here will equal to zero. In a loop, uh, voltage will be zero. So we will start from the six volt voltage source. And here the arrow is going from negative to positive. So I will have negative sign here, minus six plus, so now let's move on to this component, which is 14, but 14 is resistance. To get a voltage, we need to multiply it by the current. So I1, and we move on to this 5 ohm resistor, but there are two currents that pass through it, I1 and I2. But we are focusing on I1, so we write I1 first, and I2 is going to the opposite direction, so I1 minus I2. Okay, and this 5 ohm is similar to this one, so I will have plus 5 I1 minus I2 again, okay, and that will equal to 0. Now I can move this 6 to the right hand side, so I will have all of this will equal to 6, but now I will focus on this. 14 I1 plus 5 I1 will be 19 I1 and 19 I1 plus 5 I1 that will be 24 I1 right then for I2 I will have minus 5 minus 5 that should be minus 10 I2 and all of that will equal to 6 we can simplify this actually so I'll have 12 I1 minus 5i2 is equal to 3, right? And yeah, just save this equation because we can do more than this, right? So we move on to KVL at i2. Okay, so now we can start from here. So I'll have 5. But now we focus on I2, so we write I2 first, and then I1 is flowing to the opposite direction of I2, so I'll have minus I1, okay? This 5 ohm is also similar, so I'll have plus 5 I2 minus I1, and then this 10 ohm, and the only current that pass through it is I2, so I just multiply it by I2. And for this one, the current is flowing from positive side to the negative side of the voltage source, so the sign will be positive. So I'll have plus 5 volt, and that will equal to 0. So now, let's do some addition. The I1, I will have minus 5, minus 5, so minus 10 I1. And for I2, I will have 5 plus 5, 10. 10 plus 10 will be 20, so plus 20 I2, okay? And then for this plus 5, I move to the right hand side, so I will have minus 5. Okay, and I think I can simplify this by dividing both sides by 5, so I will have minus 2 I1 plus for I2 and that will equal to what is this minus 5 divided by 5 is minus 1 right okay I think the what the number is not uh, hand friendly so I will just plug it into calculator so I have 12 and then minus 5 and then minus 2 and 4 
and I will have I1 and I2 and I this vector will be 3 and this vector here will be minus 1 okay so 3 minus 1 okay so now let's do calculator okay let's clear that up and we need to do two variables so the number one okay let's plug in 12 minus 5 and then 3 and then minus 2 and then 4 then minus 1 so i will have that is for x axis i1 right and that will be one zero point one eight four two okay so i will have i1 is equal to zero point one four eight two ampere or that will equal to one hundred and eighty four point two milliampere and for i2 we can just open our calculator again so I will have that one minus fifteen seventy nine, okay. Minus zero point fifteen seventy nine ampere, or that will be minus one hundred and fifty seven point nine milli ampere, and this is the final result that is the that are desired for from this problem yeah i think i did not make any mistakes this time so thank you for watching and bye bye